Now, a group under the auspices of women's situation room Nigeria has called on Nigerians, political actors, to disease from perpetrating violence against women during the electoral process. The group stated these are the one-day consultative dialogue with strategic stakeholders with the aim of raising their voices against women or violence against women, harassment and intimidation. Plus TV News correspondent Habila Dorofa's report is presented from our studios. The continuous violence against women has relegated them to the background of electoral activities. This dialogue brings key stakeholders to seek solutions to violence against women in order for their voices to be heard. The convener of Women's Situation Room Nigeria, Kaduna State, Kautume Abdulaziz, says 60% of women experience political and emotional violence. One of the key outcome of this, of this event is that women came out um, equivocally to, to talk about um, meeting times because um, sometimes some of these meetings are at night and as the, as, the, as the Nigerian culture has it, it's very difficult for women to go out at such time. So this is one of the factors that hinders women from, from participating meaningfully and constructively in political um, competition. Calling on all to support women who are capable, you know, to take on leadership roles, to support them wholeheartedly, sincerely and intentionally. The keynote speaker, Bukolai Jao, says any form of violence is an offence as contained in the Kaduna State VAP law. To create an awareness to the participants and they are really, they've really been enriched to know of all these offences that are captured in the law. See something, say something. If you are a neighbor and your neighbor is going through violence, do not say it is not my business. It is everybody's business. They also maintain that the affirmative action on women is just on paper, stressing the need for a level playing ground for all. The inclusiveness of, you know, we bringing women on board and all that, but it's just something like they are saying this and another thing is happening. Even the issue of saying that they've given women free forms or 50%, I'm not down with it because where you don't contribute, you don't have a say. So it's indirectly controlling our status again in that kind of cycle. Committee of these parties sometimes call for meeting 2 a.m. As a married woman, you don't expect her to be in the cycle of this man. So they should try and understand that. Let's have more women and if there is going to be meeting, it should be comfortable. We just want a free playing ground, not just, we're not trying to say, okay, it has to be this, no. But if there, is, there should be a meeting, for goodness sake, 2 a.m., it doesn't make sense. Some of the participants commended the engagement which has broadened their knowledge. As long as women are not empowered, education first. Once you're educated and you're empowered, most of the time they, do, they won't dump trash at women, like small bag of rice, 2,000, 5,000. No. But because some people are not empowered, so everything will be thrown at them. Issues that have that are actually stopping women from actually participating in politics and how it can be avoided and then how violence against women can actually be avoided. And for us that attend this, I will advise each and every one of us to carry this message and spread it. Nigeria is the first country to run this model of a situation room and has kept improving to ensure that all elections in the country are peaceful and women, youths, play a substantive role in sustaining peace in communities, states and national levels. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.